Hi, it's Liz from G-Mum's Place again. Back with the, the second book in the Stone Creek series for, by Linda Lale Miller. Um, the second book is called A Wanted Man. The past has a way of catching up with folks in Stone Creek, Arizona, so school mum Lark Morgan and Marshal Rowdy Rhodes are determined to hide their secrets and deny their instant attraction. It shouldn't be too hard since each suspects the other of living a lie. Her two fancy clothes and big city ways inspire gossip all over town. His blonde good looks and impudent grin belong to a man sporting a gunfighter's coat. But Rowdy and, and Lark have one truth in common. The very real dangers they face. Like the gang of robbers wreaking havoc on the railroad heading toward Stone Creek, the men ranger Sam O'Bellivan expects Rowdy to nab. And as past and current troubles collide, Rowdy and Lark must surrender their stubborn pride to the greatest power of all, an undying love. I'll read you the first paragraph. Stone Creek, Arizona Territory, January 1905. Rowdy Rhodes leaned back in the whole house bathtub, a cheroot jutting from between his teeth and sighed as he waited for the chill of a high country winter to seep out of his bones. Jolene, an aging madam with pockmarked skin, three visible teeth and a bustle the size of the Sonoran Desert, sloshed another bucket full of steaming water at his feet. I done seen everything now, she told him. Her eyes narrowed in lascivious speculation as she studied Rowdy's submerged frame. Ain't nobody never brought a dog to my bathhouse before. Pardner, the old yellow hound, sat soaked and bewildered in the tub next to Rowdy's. He'd gotten pretty scruffy on the long ride up from Haven, the dog had, and Rowdy meant to take him for barbering next. They could both do with a haircut and Rowdy was itching for a shave. Pardner was just plain itching. Always a first time, Rowdy said, drawing on the cheroot and then blowing a smoke ring. We first met Rowdy in The Man from Stone Creek. Um, he looked after the jail. Uh, when Mungo was put in jail, there was no sheriff. So, Rowdy was deputised and um, road herd on, on Mungo Donoher while he was in jail. So Sam O'Bellivan has asked Rowdy to come to Stone Creek um, to, to do some ragering work, but also to be Marshal of Stone Creek. Um, and here is how um, Rowdy meets Lark at the local um, rooming house, I suppose you'd call it, and they go for a walk together, and this is what happens. Your name isn't Rowdy Road, Lark, Rhodes, Lark said, in a rush of whispered words the moment they all reached the wooden sidewalk. Pardner proceeded to lift his leg against a lamppost up ahead while Rowdy adjusted his hat. And yours isn't Mar Lark Morgan, he replied easily. Lark reddened slightly under her high cheekbones. Lord, she was a beauty. Wasted as a small town school ma'am, she ought to be the queen of some country, he reckoned, or appear on a stage. Lark is my name, she argued. Maybe so, he answered, but Morgan isn't. You're running from something or somebody, aren't you? She hesitated just long enough to convince Rowdy that his hunch was correct. Why are you here, Mr. Rhodes? What brings you to a place like Stone Creek? Business, he said. She stopped right in the middle of the sidewalk, forcing Rowdy to stop too and look back at her. Am I that business, Mr. Rhodes? If, if someone hired you to find me, find you? Rowdy asked, momentarily baffled. In the next moment it all came clear. You think I came here looking for you? She gazed at him, at once stricken and defiant. 
She had the look of a woman fixing to lift her skirts, spit on one dainty heel and run for her life. At the same time, her chin jutted out, bespeaking stubbornness and pride and a fierce desire to mark out some ground for herself and hold it against all comers. Did you? Rowdy shook his head. No, ma'am, he said quietly. I did not. Lark still didn't move. How do I know you're telling the truth? You don't, Rowdy answered, keeping a little distance between them so she wouldn't speak. But consider this. If I'd come to Stone Creek to fetch you away, Miss Morgan, you and me and partner, we'd be a ways down the trail by now, whether you wanted to go along or not. And so they continue. Um, Lark says she's from St. Louis, which is where she grew up. Um, but she actually came from Denver to get to Stone Creek. Okay, um, Rowdy's younger brother Gideon um, was living with his pa and stepma. Uh, Ruby runs a saloon in Flagstaff and Gideon and Rowdy's father lived with her. Um, but their pa lit out, so Gideon came looking for Rowdy. Gideon asked Rowdy, this where you live, he asked. This is where I live, Rowdy confirmed. I guess somebody at Mrs. Porter's must have told you where to find me. Gideon nodded, swallowed once. You said to come if I had trouble. Rowdy approached his younger brother, laid a hand on his shoulder. What happened, Gideon? Gideon flushed, chewed, on, chewed a while on what he wanted to say, maybe figuring how to put it. Finally, he said, Pa took off last night in a big hurry. Wouldn't say where he was going and wouldn't let me go with him. Rowdy closed his eyes. No, he thought fiercely. I'm not ready to run again. I'm not ready to leave Lark. Damn you, Pappy. Damn you. Did I do right to come? Gideon asked wearily. Rowdy nodded, smiled. Come on along with me. I reckon you could do with some supper. And the story goes on from there. Um, Gideon uh, becomes Rowdy's deputy around town and helps out when Rowdy is busy. Um, Sam is obviously in, in this one um, as well and Maddie. Um, they're just sort of guest appearances. There are a couple of love scenes in, in this book as well. Um, also not terribly explicit. Um, they, it's a wonderful read and I would highly recommend any of Linda Lyle Miller's books. They are worth looking for. Um, they're a very uncomplicated book to read and it's just so pleasant to sit down with an old friend and let her tell you a story. So if you like the video um, please hit the subscribe button and the hit the notification bell. Please smash the like button as well and I've got a link down below um, if you're interested in buying A Wanted Man by Linda Lowell Miller. Thank you very much for watching the video and hopefully I'll be posting again in a couple of days. Thank you.